This new hognose snake that I got recently has snake mites. Luckily I kept it away from the other snakes whilst I kept an eye on it. But I did make the very strange decision to make this bioactive. But I have a real easy fix to get rid of snake mites and not have to tear down an expensive bioactive and ruin my whole setup. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm coming to the computer and I'm going to my data and I look at the records of my hogno snake to make sure I get a weight. And the weight is gonna be very important for the next step I do. If I look at my records on the reptile keeper, I know that my hognose weighs 129 grams. So what I'm gonna do is head on over to tomascus.co.uk, look at their article on a floxina, a new drug for getting rid of snake mites. And I'm going to download their calculator. In a nutshell, you need to do some maths to make sure you give the right amount of drug per gram of body weight of snake. There's a calculator on this website that makes it a lot easier. I need to give 0.136 grams of a floxina. Let's do that. So we're going to use this vivarium as a work surface. First thing I'm going to do is get in some mini scales. Here we go, mini scales. Ta-da. Next thing is what I'm going to do is take the drug and begin cutting it up. Normally it's in the big tube or tablet for dogs, but actually I've been using it for a lot of my collection. So let's turn this on. Let's give this shard 0.13. Okay, I need to warn you, what I'm about to do is really, really gross. I'm used to ripping apart chicks with my bare hands in like zoo kitchens, but I'm about to shove some drugs down the throat of a mouse. So warning, this is about to get ugly. Right, okay. So what I'm trying to do is put the tongues down the throat of this mouse so that I can actually open up the space and create space by opening the mouth wide. Hopefully, after taking the tongues away, the mouth stays open and it leaves this massive space for me to insert the drugs into it. Now the drugs are from a chewable dog tablet, which is really easy to like put in because you can actually roll it up in your fingers and make a sausage. And then you can make it into a shape that's really easy to insert into the esophagus of the mouse. There we go, into the mouth, down the throat. Nice, there we go, done. Right, next bit, there we go. Even if it breaks, that's okay, because you can pick it up and stuff it on on top. And when you press it in, it just kind of smushes into each other. Get it right down there, make room for the rest. At the very end, I'm just gonna press the mouth shut, and we're good to go. Now I'm gonna pop you here, that so you can see. The great thing about this camera is I'm not even in the room with you right now. I'm in the other room. Yeah, I'm actually controlling the camera on my phone. Right, we'll see if he come and gets it. The amazing thing about this method is it actually stays in their blood for 28 days. So that it kills the mites on the snake and any eggs in the enclosure, those eggs hatch out and go to take their first blood meal from the snake and die also. It is absolutely lethal at killing snake mites but then perfectly safe for the snake. The only downside in the bioactive is if your snake poops and isopods and springtails eat that poop, obviously that poop's gonna have insecticide inside it and it's gonna kill those isopods and springtails. But I think it's much easier to reseed a bioactive with more springtails and isopods than scrap the whole thing and start again. The over-the-counter version is called Front Pro. You can get that at Pets at Home. The other brand of a Floxner is called NextGuard, and you need to get that signed off by a vet. And in the US, you can get it as well, but you have to go to a vet. Sometimes they're a bit weird about it. Some people have had real troubles of getting a vet to actually give it to them. If you can get a vet to give it to you, this is the easiest way to do it. I'll leave all links down below where you can get the spreadsheet and how to do this. If you found this helpful, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.